hey what's up guys good morning and welcome back to my channel technology and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to connect your computer using remote desktop from any other location so basically you don't have to download any third party software like team viewer any decks so uh, before i'm going to show you guys i must tell you so in uh, in daily basis in our home computers we are using a uh, uh, dynamic IP so because the static IP price is too much high so so our ISP give, gave us the uh, dynamic IP so uh, every time whenever you are restart your router it will be change your dynamic IP so uh, dynamic IP means one IP using by multiple user so sometimes this process will be not work so whenever it will not work just restart your right router uh, try to connect with an, uh, other public IPs maybe it will be walk so so let's start so at first you need to uh, open your my computer and you have to right click on there and click on properties and then you have to go to this option is called change settings and after that here you will get one tab is called remote so you have to click on there and after that you have to select the this second option is called allow connections from the computer running any version of you know desktop so uh, after that you need to click on apply and okay so 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 i have allow my remote desktop so as you can see so now what I have to do, I need to open my CMD, like I have to put CMD and after that here you need to put IP config and after that here you will get your IP address from here. So here is my IP address as you can see is 192.168.0.101 that is my local IP okay. So now you have to go to your open your router if you are using any router so you have to go to your router page and you have to forward one port is called a remote desktop port that is 3389 so you have to go to if you are using a tp link then you have to go to that uh, the dmg tab and after that you need to enable from here and here you need to put that uh, that my ip as you can see my ip is 192.168.0. 101 so you need to put your ip on there and after that click on save and after that you have to go to port triggering option and after that click on add new and here you need to put your port that is 3389 and again 3389 and the status will be enabled and uh, you have to click on this save button so it's done so now you have to click on virtual server add a new port and then 3389 3389 here you need to put your ip address this one and after that after that you have to click on save so now it's done so now as you can see i'm already connected with one uh vps server the virtual private server it's my uh i'm taking it from amazon so i'm i'm trying to connect my computer using remote desktop uh with this vps okay using this vps so on this vps i need to open the run and type on their mstsc that is a command for remote desktop and after that i need to i just minimize it i need to open my google chrome and i type on their my ip on the google okay after that i will get my public ip so this is my dynamic ip every time change after I restart my uh, router okay so you have to copy this IP after that you need to put here okay so uh, I'll, before I will click on connect you have to disable your firewall okay otherwise it will not connect so for normal uh, people uh, you can you can use a windows firewall to disable so right now I am using a ESET uh, smart security. So that's the reason my firewall managed by um, ESET. Okay. So so this 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 uh, ESET smart security managed by my firewall. So I have to disable my personal firewall from here. So click on apply and then apply. 
js so i will uh, pause this firewall protection for 10 uh, minutes okay so it's done so uh, if you are if you are not using uh, ECS smart security then just right click on these network tab and after that uh, click on this open network sharing center and after that go to your windows firewall setting and here you will get one option is called turn windows firewall on or off okay you have to disable your firewall okay public and private both after that you need to you need to go to your remote desktop and you have to click on connect yes now it's showing username and password as you can see password tab so what i have to do i need to put my computer username like trick no logic and the password i need to put here and after that click on connect so it's not connecting maybe some issue happened so sometime it will not work when uh, other people are using this port okay so basically you have to click so right now yes click on yes so here is my pc right now as you can see my pc is automatically log off after click on that uh, uh, the, the remote desktop and uh, i will going to again log in on my remote uh, on my pc so here is a so as you can see your remote service session has been ended so whenever you will try to connect on this remote server it will be automatically uh, log out as you can see that means it's perfectly working. So I'm showing you once again. As you can see, it's automatically log off. So through this remote desktop session, only one people can use this remote session. So that's the reason it's log out automatically. I hope this video was really helpful for you guys. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you will get any type of problem, then comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button. See you on next video next time. Take care.